paint all the things. Hello everyone and welcome to step 1.6 everyone. In this segment I'm gonna be taking an entirely new direction uh, unlike the previous uh, guardsmen and cultists. Today I'm gonna be making a word bearer chaos guardsman and let's check here where I, what I got at my disposal. I have a regular KDM body which I've pinked out with some horns as you can see here and here. I've removed all Aquilas and a pure market on him. And so yeah, this will be a word bearer traitor guardsman to say so. And at my uh, also uh, as some uh, extra things, I um, have this uh, destroyed KSP Marine helmet, which I painted already in word bearer uh, iconography colors. Uh, this is actually some rem remains from an Imperial Guard army, which I have harvested from the uh, Imperial Guard models, and I'm gonna be reusing it for my Trader Guard. I'm gonna be placing it here to say so once I think it's appropriate. So yeah, what I'm gonna be doing for the first part is that I'm gonna be painting the main clothing and since I'm gonna be painting it like a word bearer follower, I want it to look in the same colors. So I'm gonna be painting red core on the uniform, which is the pants and the arms and stuff like that and also the neck hair and these parts and on the arms and not this one actually but the arms here and here and then I'm gonna be painting up the, the armor and since I want to follow in the word bearer type of thing I'm gonna be, be first painting Abaddon Black as a foundation uh, on the armor and shoulder pads and then I'm gonna be dry brushing the lead belch on top of that. Uh, however, my recommendation would be to switch a room that you first start with the black color, dry brush with lead belcher and then you can paint the red gore on the uniform so you don't have to so you don't accidentally dry brush with lead belcher on the red areas. Uh, the skin color for this guardsman, I'm not gonna go to warp PD, warp PD on it. So I'm, I'm gonna make it a more traditional skin color, which is elf flesh as a foundation. Uh, the bones, uh, which you can see here, uh, there are many ways you can paint uh, bones, as I've showed you in previous painting guides. Uh, I'm not entirely certain what type of uh, direction I want to take these particular horns so I'm gonna be waiting with those for the later step so yeah so for the first step here in in step 1.5 I'm gonna be starting out with Abaddon uh, Black as a base on the main armor dry brushing lead belcher on top of that painting red gore as uh, on the uniform and then elf flesh on the skin color and this segment has been recorded on the 12th of August 2013. It's right in the middle of the night, so I'm gonna be going to bed afterwards after this. But yes, yeah, so, uh, and as I said in the previous uh, step, the, the, all the point four, step point four steps uh, is that this is a later edition which I uh, recorded after I finished step uh, point zeros and uh, it wasn't planned but I wanted to expand my Imperial Guard uh, painting guide area. But yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next step in step 2.5. So see you all in step 2.5 everyone. Hello and welcome back to step 2.5 everyone 
and let's check out what I've been doing with the model. Today it is the 14th of August 2013. So yeah, let's go into what we're going to be doing here on this model. First of all, we're going to be painting up the weapon and the horns, as you can see here and here. And that I'm going to be using Mornfang Brown as a base. And after that, oh, I'm also going to be painting it on the bayonet here, as you can see, as a base. After that, I'm going to be using Gehenna's gold on top of the bayonet's handle where you hold it and after that I'm gonna be using bleach bone and with bleach bone I'm gonna be dry brushing the horns on top of the, the uh, brown color and then I'm gonna be painting bleach bone on the this uh, sleeping madras what we call it sleeping madras and uh, after that I'm going to be starting up uh, with the base, so I'm going to be gluing this right here and then I'm going to be adding sand around, around it and after that I'm going to be painting a, a bit of black again as a base and then finish up with dry brush and codex grey on top of that. And I'm also going to be using codex grey to uh, highlight the edges of the black shoes for instance. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next part everyone. I'm going to be using Mornfang Brown to paint the weapon, the bayonet handle, the horns, and uh, and uh, the belt uh, for, the, for the guardsman as you can see around here, which is still white. And then I'm going to be using Gehenna's gold on the handle here bleach bone on the on the horns and on the sleeping madras chaos black on the base after we've fixed up the, the base as I explained earlier and then I'm gonna highlight uh, I'm gonna dry brush the base with codex gray and I'm gonna highlight the, the the black shoes to say so so now you know what we're gonna be doing for step 3.5 everyone so see you all in that step